Welcome back. We're having fun. You know why? Because we're talking sports right here at Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Let's go to our new studio. Olumide Makole is standing by. Olumide is smiling. He's a very happy fellow. Liverpool defeated Chelsea on Friday. I mean, this is Monday and Olumide is still talking, still about, talking it. about it. Talk about a proud fan. Olumide. Good morning to all our viewers. Hello, Austin and Tayo. I know you didn't want to talk about <laughs> Liverpool's success. The Friday is gone. Success. <laughs> just we're, just, we're just setting up to win the next match as well. Mm. No, but Paul, let me say, let's be realistic here now. It's looking really good for Liverpool. That's I right. mean, what are your, you know, um, expectations? Top four uh, for finish. The season? Top four. We're going to win the league. Uh, that's two. <laughs> let me they give us the Our defense. We're going to win the give league. us the news. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, bring you the headline news now. And Nigeria's president, Mohamed Buhari, is getting set to join the first session of the 71st United Nations General Assembly. He and other world leaders will be discussing issues around migration and security, amongst others. Security has, however, taken the shine off the gathering even before it kicks off, officially following an explosion that rocked the city. The Nigerian Air Force has conducted airstrikes on suspected Boko Haram hideouts on the outskirts of Tobin, Guinea and Tobin, Kayewa communities in Bornu State. In a video released by the Air Force, some of the terrorists could be seen in what appears to be a gathering point before the Air Force launched its offensive. And the gunmen who kidnapped four residents of Isheri area of Lagos are asking the victims' families to pay about 300 million naira in ransom each before they are released. The kidnappers who established contact with the families say once the money is deposited at a designated point, the victims will be set free. And on the foreign scene, the governor of New York, Mr. Andrew Cuomo, has described the recent explosion as an act of terror. However, he says no link has been made with international terror groups. Mr. Cuomo says significant damage had been caused and fortunately there were no fatalities. At least 29 people sustained injuries during Saturday night's blast in Manhattan. Those were the headlines. For details of these stories and more, please go to our website, channelstv.com. It's back to you guys. I... Um, <laughs> I also commend the Paralympians yeah. for their incredible yeah. feat mm, in right. Rio. You know, they're suffering from success. Sweet, sweet. But like me, let's set the record straight. You said two things. You yes. said Liverpool yeah. can make the top four. And then you tried. I don't know, was that a leap of faith that Liverpool win the league this season? Leicester won the league last season, right? <laughs> so who's to say like Liverpool can win? <laughs> I agree with you. Thank you so much, Olivia Macaulay. I'll keep down to this date, and then if it happens, I'm not a master of that was his book. If it happens, you're, go you're going to read, you're going to do, they're going to present this show without a shirt and a tie. No, I'm not doing that. I'm, <laughs> I'm not coming. taking that back. <laughs> I'm no. going to put on two jackets to present the show in the movies. Okay. Thank you so Thank much, you, Olivia. Olivia. And that's it. That's how we have fun right here. Channels, TV, Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Because there's so much for talking sports, and we want you to be part of all that we'll be doing this morning on the program. You should be part of the fun. You should. Yeah, that's it. You can talk to us on Twitter. We're channels underscore sports. And on Facebook, we're channels life in sports. You can send us an email to sports this morning at channelstv.com. There's so much to talk about because it's an action-packed morning. It's been an exciting, interesting, engaging world of sports. Mm -hmm. You can talk to us in the hashtag Paralympic Games. You know the story. Team Nigeria traveled to Rio with 23 athletes. They won 12 medals, 8 gold, 2 silver, and 2 bronze medals. They're back in the country. They're all smiles. We're loving it. We appreciate them. They're special. But... They want the government to do more, to give them more support. And we at Channel Sports totally agree that the government should do that for them. We'll also talk about cricket in Nigeria. We told you that the national under-19 cricket team, they're in Johannesburg playing the cricket pre-World Cup qualifiers Division 2. They need to get to Division 1, but it's not looking so good mm. because they lost to Ghana. The play in Tanzania today. We'll talk about that one. We're monitoring it, so we can't say much for now. But we'll talk about it this morning on the show. We told you women's football. Let's talk about women's football. Use the hashtag women's football, particularly. Let's talk to the Nigeria Football Federation. They need to do more to support women's football in Nigeria. We know the story. We know how they are left till it's about a week to a competition and then we start doing the fire brigade approach again no we don't want that we know the draw has been done in yaoundé for uh the women's 
Nations Cup. It's going to kick off on, the, on November the 19th. So NFF, that's the story. We need to start preparing our team. They are formidable. We believe they have quality. But without support, they will not impress. We'll talk about March the 36th of the Nigeria Professional Football League. Did you hear Tyler Salam say, um, Rangers, they are just two games. Two games away from making history, from breaking records. Woo, what a story. They've regained leadership on the league table. Let's see if they can go all the way. We'll talk about the 2016 F1. We'll talk about the English Premier League. We'll talk about everything that you're talking about in your action pack to all the sport. But tell, let's talk about the under 19 cricket world, um, world pre World Cup yeah. qualifiers in Johannesburg. We spoke to the president last week. We were optimistic about mm. playing Ghana to win. But yeah, it didn't happen. Mm. But I'm saying, even if they don't get to Division if- 1, don't go to sleep after putting up a good competition as this. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame, really. I mean, they started so well, you know, mm. winning the first couple of games. Yeah. Uh, but that very crucial game against mm. Ghana, oh uh, it wasn't meant to be because the yeah. Ghanaians were on fire on the day. Uh, Ghanaians opening bowlers out of blinder, you oh, know, and goodness. destroyed Nigeria's batting mm. uh, lineup. So, yeah, they lost that one. Now they have to, you know, they play Tanzania yeah. uh, later today mm. and still now bank on the results between, between Botswana yeah, and Sierra Leone exactly. and that's because they lost to Botswana if you remember by a weekend yeah very very Bamf. very close very Ooh. close there but you know it is um it's very fine margins mm. you know at this uh, level of um uh, cricket so but like you said Austin even if they don't qualify it's still good experience for yeah. them it's something to build on I and know. yeah so I that's what really matters mm. so we'll see it's not totally over we'll just wait you know for the final outcome mm. of the competition before uh, we know what's next now uh, for the junior yellow grains. Junior yellow grains, that's what they are called. Tyler, win win story. It is. Yes, it's it a is. win win situation because I see the Nigerian flag right there. I see the Nigerian Cricket Federation flag also. Yeah. That's what it means when you go for competition. Yeah, when you have you know sports that mm. are not popular in quotes, you know, yeah. going for international competitions. I mean, yeah, like I said, it's a win win. Look at uh, that. Especially that's the NCF flag. That's the Nigerian yeah. flag right there. Especially when it's on the 19th. Mm. So it shows you, you know, there's a future that's somewhere, right. you mm. know, around that just needs a bit of nurturing a bit of support a lot of support you know to get them to the elite level so that's right um yeah keep your head up guys that's the word qualify thank you tayo not just the guys the yeah. nigeria cricket federation don't go to sleep no, after this competition go back to your school work go yeah. back to your school program and say what do we still need to do for grassroots cricket development exactly. how can we get these guys busy oh don't say because they didn't qualify no, to division one now, oh, those guys, oh, let's just aside. let's just keep them aside no, no, that's it doesn't that's work good. that way doesn't work that way so well done to the nigeria cricket federation well done to uh the, our young cricketers the yellow greens are called um that are representing the country in johannesburg good luck all the best keep doing what you can to represent your country let's do this one with speed nico <laughs> rosberg tire with speed with right. speed wow i know wow just a few weeks ago we thought lewis hamilton catch him if you can that's right he's gonna win mm. yet another formula one title but guess what i know nico rosberg is having none of that because Woo. he's come back really strong now after the break he's won two in a row and in singapore it was incredible he obviously started on mm. pole and you still need to do the job, Austin, and he did it very right. well, you know, pole to finish, and um, he's regained the lead now, wow. eight points lead now, wow. he has over his teammate, Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton. Let's also mention that this is the first time he's winning in Singapore, yep. and that, that means there's a lot of pressure, this guy has never won in Singapore, yeah. he came out there, he needed to stay focused, when you're starting on pole, if you just blink, you know exactly it's, it's especially over. because red bull they were on fire on the day as well too. Wow. they made a mistake mm. daniel ricardo could have easily overtaken him and won uh, that particular race boy kept his nerves and um nick roseburg is starting to show you know that fighting spirit yeah. you know that tough mentality that a lot of you know pundits actually doubted you know he has so um Austin, uh, it's still a long way to go. Uh, there's still about six races to go. Wow. Up next is the Malaysian Grand Prix. <laughs> and I don't know. Ferrari love, they love it Austin, in Malaysia. Austin, it's, I still think it's going to be a lot of drama left in this uh, Formula One season. I but know. before we go on, let's just quickly, you know, listen to the victorious uh, Nico Rosberg. He's been reacting uh, to his win at the Singapore Grand Prix. First of all, big congratulations to Nico. He drove fantastically well all weekend and fully deserved the, the, the win. Um, 
very tough day today, but as always it is here in Singapore. And this weekend has just been a bit of a tricky one for me, but I'm still glad that I could get back up on the podium and get some points for this. It's, uh, we've, we've come very close this year on, uh, on numerous occasions, but you know I'm not going to stand up here and be disappointed. I think we, we gave it a good shot and we tried something at the end with, with a strategy and we got within yeah, half a second. It was close, but um, hey, we're, we're up here again. It feels great. Uh, there is a lot of Australian flags. Every year I see more and more, so thank you very much. No, but uh, it's been an awesome weekend here in Singapore for me. Uh, already yesterday with the pole lap, and then today, great start. Uh, had a good car in the race. Of course, uh, Daniel tried to pull one up on me uh, with, the, with the pit stop in the end there. And we knew it was going to be tight at the end, but uh, it worked out, so really, really happy. So that's it, yeah. sweet story for Nico Rosberg. But Clara, he popped the champagne. He's 200th Formula One race and he, and he recorded a victory. But Lewis is also doing what is right. He's still getting he's those podium finishes. Yeah, that's he's right. In uh -huh. yeah. I'm right here. I'm not <laughs> far away, bro. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, Austin, I can't wait for Sunday, October the 2nd. Mm. Uh, where, that's when uh, the um, Malaysian um, Grand Prix will take place. Wow. So I think there's still a lot more, you know, um, Drama uh, to happen in this year's Formula One. There's no doubt about just it. Just two crashes. That's all it takes. <laughs> just, or just one. Just one. Just, just one crash. Or just a mechanical failure. Uh, you know, or, That's all it takes, or you don't right? listen to the engineers or the wrong or a wrong pit stop. <laughs> The Formula I mean, One yeah. season, we love it. Awesome we'll continue to, to monitor it right there. Channel TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria, and give you all the latest updates. It's not in this part of the world yet, but let's see. Let's see. You never know. Let's, never know. Play, let's play some tennis now, Ty, or the yeah. Davis Cup. Um, I mean, on paper, you expect the Great Britain to, to just run yeah. over Argentina. Yes. But it didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. Too bad. Uh, Great Britain's. You know, the reign as Davis Cup champions is it's over now because um, they lost to uh, Argentina in that one. Anne Murray, you know, did his best, you know, won his game. But when it got to the decider, um, they couldn't, just couldn't do it. And that's wow. why uh, they're out now. Argentina are in the final. And Leonardo Maya seems to be the man on the lips of all Argentines mm. now because he really had an awesome game. Because we one. said it's only to take the pressure of one Martin Del Potro. Yes. Yeah, and Maya had to step in. And that's what it takes. You know, somebody needs to be that role model, that push, just like what Andy Murray is doing for, for Britain. Yeah. But somebody needs to take the pressure of this guy. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's the thing. It's a team, mm. you know, team sport, team events, I beg your pardon. Yeah. He's done his part. He's won. There you he go. leveled the tie 2 2. There you so go. when he got to the decider mm. between Leonardo Maya and Dan Evans, oh. Dan Evans just couldn't do it. And look oh at the uh, look at the anxiety on uh, Ma Ma Martin Del Potro's yeah. face right there. Um, Leonardo Maya has been on the on tour for a long time now. He's very experienced, very seasoned, and he brought it on for That's Argentina. Right. So That's congratulations right. to very important. Argentina. Tayo, you just mentioned that he's been on tour. That means he's been gathering experience. Yes. He's been playing. He's been staying fit. He understands what it means to fall and yeah. rise again. And now. It's committed to a victory for his country. Yes, so they're in the final now, and uh, we'll see how long uh, they can take it. So, like I said, Austin, congratulations mm. to Argentina. They fully, fully deserve, you know, the final sport. I know. Tyre, let's come back to uh, the English Premier League now. I don't know what else to say <laughs> that is going on with Jose Mourinho and yeah. Manchester United. Tyre Salam, Watford have not beaten the Manchester United for 30 years. Guys, impossible is nothing. It's almost unthinkable, particularly the way Troy Dini blasted yeah. that penalty into that the net. Ex exclamation mark on We it. must end this. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, obviously, there are issues now. There are issues. I mean, mm. they started so well. Jose, you know, won the first uh, four uh, games in charge of Manchester mm. United. Mm. I think he's the only United manager that has been able to achieve that. And just when United fans um, started to get really optimistic, you know, going in, in, into the rest of the season, yeah. and they've lost uh, three all in right. a row. All in right. a row, yeah, in all competitions. Oh. But it's still early days. Yeah. There are issues to be sorted. You have Jose to sort those issues to sort it out as soon as possible. possible. You know, it shouldn't linger. Down. Yeah, we're seeing science see patterns of what happened in Chelsea. Chelsea yeah. My goodness, we'll go on a quick break now, and then when we come back, we'll listen to Jose Mourinho. Let's find out what's really going on with Manchester United. You know what? It's sports this morning on Channel Steve. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Stay.